Hi y'all, it's Maisie Provides and welcome to my YouTube channel. We're going to go right on ahead and jump into the Vegan Diaries week four. That's right, I said four as in an entire month. So on Wednesday, March 18th, I braved the grocery store. I know many people have not because of the whole coronavirus chaos going on, but I needed a couple things from the grocery store and I wanted to make pozole that night for supper, which is an incredible Mexican soup. Okay, y'all, so it is Wednesday, March 18th, which means I only have three weeks left. I'm halfway done, and this is the first day of week four, and I'm very proud of myself. So, the reason why I'm showing you a grocery list is I'm about to brave a grocery store, and these are all the groceries that I'm going to attempt to get. I don't know if it's going to actually happen. We'll see. But, yeah, I'm going to guess that all of these groceries out here are going to be $40.00 possibly 50 i'm going to try to keep it under 50 dollars. we'll see how it goes so pray for me and pray that this place isn't crazy and also let's just hope that it actually has what i need look at all that goodness just ugh, i wish y'all could be here to smell this right now it is it's heavenly making vegan pasoli which shout out to mama stacy should be my best friend's mom for giving me the recipe. This is an adaptation of her recipe and I am very pumped to eat it. Now the following day I ate leftover pozzoli for lunch and that night for supper I didn't really want to eat it again so I ate leftover tofu and let me just say that I'm not going to be eating tofu anytime soon. It did not sit well with me. There is a good chance that I may have left it in there for too long or something. I don't really know. I guess, you know, I didn't think that soy products could go bad. Idiot. But clearly they can because I got a slight case of food poisoning, if you can even call it food poisoning, on Friday morning at about 5 a.m. So I worked from home that day. On Saturday, I decided to cook supper for Lane and I, and I made Marlboro Man's favorite sandwich, which if you have not heard of that or had it before, it is a Pioneer Woman recipe that is absolutely to die for. It is one of my favorite things to cook and to eat, and this time I substituted beef for Lane with elk. I'd never cooked elk before, and I've always wanted to eat it, but kind of missed out on the opportunity there. He said it was pretty good. And for my sandwich, instead of beef, I used portobello mushrooms, which were pretty good. I'd say they were good, but not near as good as it would have been with beef. I just want all of you to know that I've been waiting since I moved to Montana to cook elk. And this is the first time that I've ever cooked elk and I don't even get to eat it. So let's hope it turns out good. I would also like to add that, yeah, it sucks that I can't eat meat right now. It sucks even worse when someone eats in front of me and they're eating meat. But the worst thing out of all of it is cooking for people who do eat meat and not cooking them vegan food. So I know I did this to myself. I know it's my own fault, but in about two weeks, I'm going to be so excited to actually get to taste test some of the things that I've been cooking for other people. Get in my belly. Come on. So we're trying to decide what we're going to eat for supper tonight and we've decided that we're going to order out and support our local businesses. So I asked Lane, what does the Grand have to eat for takeout? <laughs> well, uh, pre-cooked meal deals, heat and go, uh, meatloaf, meatballs, chicken casserole, chicken enchilada, chicken pasta, beef stroganoff. Make your pick there. The Monday and Tuesday were pretty busy days for us at the Western Ag Reporter office because there is quite literally nothing else going on in the news right now and we are an ag news publication, the only thing that we could talk about was coronavirus. So we decided to capitalize on that and make our entire paper about ag and the coronavirus. It is a really interesting read and guess what? The entire paper is completely free this week, so just go to www.westernagreporter.com, click on read our paper and sample articles, and you'll be able to find out all the information about how ag is being affected by the coronavirus. 
Now just to throw in some quick notes on some other things that I've noticed during week four, uh, my energy level has gone up back to a normal level. I'm expecting it to drop again next week and I'm probably gonna have low energy for the next week or so on week five. Uh, it's been kind of cyclable like that since I began this whole experiment. It'll be really low and then it'll be normal and really low and really normal and I can never really find a happy medium there. Uh, my face is still broke out, as you can probably tell. However, I have noticed that I'm not scarring as bad as I normally would, so that's a plus, I guess. My hair is still pretty brittle and still breaking off and drying out, and it's not a good look for me, but I've only got two more weeks left of this, so hopefully all my hair doesn't fall out within the next two weeks. Now, I have lost nine pounds on this diet, which, again, is the light at the end of the tunnel. However, I would like to point out that my weight with the vegan diet actually fluctuates more than it ever has before, and that is crazy for me to think about. One morning, I woke up, and I'd lost nine pounds, and I was like, yes, thank God, and then the next morning, I weighed, and keep in mind, the night before, I'd had a salad for one of my meals, a smoothie for one of my meals, and the other one was just some leftover quinoa and chickpeas, and it was not like I overate or anything like that. You know, I didn't even consume any added sugars that day, yet I woke up the next morning, and it only lost seven. Weighed the next day and I'd lost 10. Weighed the next day and I'd lost eight. So it fluctuates quite a bit on this diet, which is something that I've actually heard from a couple different vegans. Well, that's all for our week four recap, y'all. Thank you so much for watching. This week is a little bit different. I actually posted two videos, the weekly recap and a video which focuses on my blog post this week, which is centered around climate change and veganism. I know that if you're watching this, you're probably interested in that, so it'll be linked down in the description box below. Click it if you wanna hear me get a little bit ranty and a little bit fired up. Again, thank you so much for watching, and whether you're eating a plant-based diet or a carnivorous diet, be sure to thank an agriculturalist, because they're the reason why your belly's full. See ya.